when the narcissist fails to replace you. You were never exclusive to the narcissist. It was never just you and them. You were never alone with them. There were always other people involved because they're always on the hunt for new supply. But they don't always find suitable sources. Sometimes they get it wrong. And there are ways to tell if they have picked someone who is no good for them. There are ways to tell if they have failed to replace you. The narcissist may have been high maintenance when they were with you. They demanded a lot of your attention. They needed a lot of your time, money and effort to keep themselves in good condition. So when they fail to find a suitable replacement for you, you will begin to see that they have let themselves go. They become careless in their habits and appearance because they pay less attention to themselves than they used to. They've allowed themselves to become unkempt and overweight. So now they look untidy and unattractive. They look like something the cat dragged in. Because their supply is what gives them the fuel to maintain themselves. Without supply they just seem to give up on life. They don't care about anything anymore. They become depressed. They develop addictions to food, alcohol, drugs, shopping or gambling because they're trying to distract themselves from their unpleasant reality. They don't feel comfortable with their new supply. They're miserable. Which is why you don't even have to worry about getting revenge on the narcissist. They sabotaged themselves. They lost the best thing that ever happened to them. The person who never would have given up on them. The person who was there for them through thick and thin. Under all circumstances, no matter how difficult, you always supported and stayed with them. But they left and they tried to replace you. And most often, they end up with someone who is already in a relationship. And they're just their side chick. They're just their bit on the side. They're not anything special or important. Like they were to you. They were everything to you. And they gave that up to be nothing to someone else. Which is why they're not looking as good as they once did. When you first met them. They were in good shape. They took good care of themselves. But now they've gained weight. They're miserable. They're depressed. And it's a part of their karma. You can't treat people like garbage and then expect to get away with it. But you will notice that everyone begins to turn against you. Suddenly, their family members are starting to look really mad. They will start to treat you differently. Because the narcissist is going through something. The narcissist is suffering. And they're blaming you for everything that they caused. Because they don't take accountability for anything. 
they don't admit their faults. So they will play the victim. They will lie. They will make false accusations. They will tell their family members that you ruined their life. They will say that you prevented them from doing other things. And even though they've already done this to other people before you, their family will still support their false narrative. They will still enable the narcissist behavior. They won't hold the narcissist accountable for their actions because they're just as toxic as the narcissist. They're of like kind, which is why they will eventually begin to destabilize because they're surrounded by negative toxic people and they need some positivity and light to balance out the darkness. But sometimes the people they drag into their lives are just as negative and toxic as they are. So when they decided to bail on you, they lost all of the positivity and light that they were once embraced with and now they're entering a downward spiral of misery and self-destruction. They're beginning to sabotage themselves. They're depressed. But they don't want you to see it. They don't want you to know about it. So they will stop talking to you. They will block you on social media. Because they're ashamed of what they've become. And they don't want you to see that. So they will ghost you. Because they already know they're no good. They already know that they're toxic. But sometimes they will post their supply on social media. In an effort to distract themselves. From their intense dislike and disgust for themselves. Even though their new supply is not even remotely of the same quality as you. But the more they try to showcase their supply to you. It should only reveal to you how miserable they actually are. It should tell you that they have failed to replace you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video will resonate with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.arcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.